Hello and welcome to Joburg Today. My name is Dimi Chapo, bringing you the best of what's going down in and around Johannesburg. The new Progressive Council Chamber being built in the heart of Johannesburg will be the first five-star rated green building. It will form the core of Johannesburg's new metro centre and exist with the sole purpose to improve service delivery to the city's citizens. The Johannesburg Property Company treated us to a tour of this new development as well as to other key sites around the city. There is a massive 36 hectare development underway to the value of 3 billion rand in the Jabulani precinct in Soweto. The Johannesburg Property Company is facilitating the development and decided to make a day of it by giving us a tour. Our first stopover was at the Cultural Precinct, which includes the 420-seater award-winning Soweto Theatre. It sits within a 35-hectare precinct, uh, which is uh, earmarked for the development of 3,500 new residential units. Uh, we've already seen 1,500 of those built, uh, servicing the, the, the lower and middle income markets. Uh, there's uh, approximately 60,000 square meters of commercial development. The first of that is going to be the Bolani Mall, uh, which will take place across the road, and we're hoping to start construction later this year uh, on that. Uh, and then in terms of the cultural precinct, uh, we've got some exciting developments. We've signed up agreements with uh, Casa Semenya for a new music school, with the Viani Dance Theatre for a, a new dance venue, as well as with the MK Veterans for a new museum in the precinct. So it's really going to become a, a hub of cultural activity for the precinct. What are some of the considerations that went into building this theatre? Yeah, so you know, I think that all through the development of the theatre, we, uh, we had options to choose of what type of theatre this was going to be. And the decision was always to say that we need to make this a state-of-the-art theatre. We need to provide the best quality uh, theatre for, for Sowetans. So everything that you see from the seating, uh, from the fact that it's a full fly uh, stage setup, there's a full proscenium stage, the lighting, the acoustics dealt with in the theatre, all of the, the utmost uh, highest quality. Uh, and that's really what we wanted to, to deliver and I think that's why it, it became the award-winning theatre that it is. This is the historic amphitheatre in Jabulani, Soweto. It is here during the days of apartheid where local artists came out in celebration, in song and dance, reminding the people of the change to come. Currently, the amphitheater is not being used. The plan is to make this usable again and bring life and celebration here once again. Due to increasing health and safety standards, it's no longer usable as a, an open air venue. And so our renovation is basically to restore that and get it usable as a, as a new open air theater for, for really traditional uh, cultural celebrations. We're looking at putting in adobe clay flooring uh, so that when we have the local dances, the dust rises, and it really becomes a traditional African uh, center. Our next stop was the new council chamber. It is situated in the heart of Johannesburg. It will form the core of Johannesburg's new metro center and exists with the sole purpose to improve service delivery to the city's citizens. The council chamber is, very, is, a, is a smart building. It's a green star rated building. It's going to be the first uh, publicly rated five star green rated building in South Africa. It is iconic. Uh, it, uh, it's got a couple of design inspirations uh, ranging from the idea of the circular Lakotla meeting place uh, to the transparency being pr primarily a glass structure uh, to the idea of a drum that's going to resonate through the city uh, as well as in taking inspirations from the city of gold in a lot of the finishes. Well, I'm truly inspired to be here. The city of Joburg seems to be moving up when it comes to developing modern green star rated buildings. Nushina Mohammed for Joburg Today. Like us on Facebook, joburgtoday.tv and follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. St. Patrick's Day was made an official Christian feast day in the early 17th century. Nowadays, you can expect to see parades, festival, and people all over the world coming together to celebrate this Irish holiday. We sat down with the Irish ambassador for South Africa to learn more about what it all means. Ambassador, welcome to JoeBookToday.tv. Great to have you on the show. Thank you very much. And to have you in to talk to us about St. Patrick's Day. But before we get there, I just want to ask you, uh, how big is the Irish community in South Africa? We have about 30,000 passport holders in South Africa, but there are many more. We estimate about 50,000, 60,000. 
that have Irish links to our art links to Ireland don't necessarily have the passport but have the link and they really value that link so the, the Irish community in total could be almost a hundred thousand it's fascinating tell us about st. Patrick's Day st. Patrick's Day is celebrated on the 17th of March every year it's our national day but I suppose for Ireland um, it's, it's a very special day because of the nature of our history that so many Irish people emigrated over the last couple of hundred years. So even though we have four and a half million people in the Republic of Ireland and six million people on the island of Ireland, we have about 70 million people with links to Ireland who claim ancestry to Ireland throughout Across the, the globe. globe. Wow. So that's a huge number of Irish people living mm -hmm. abroad. And we see it as a, a, one of our priorities to reach out to that diaspora and engage with them. Because as I say, they value that link and uh, we uh, think they're important in terms of the future of Ireland. Mm -hmm. For instance, Ireland is a very small country. We have a very big economy, but we export most of what we produce. So we see that Irish diaspora as a form of salesperson yeah. for Ireland uh, abroad. And it's important to keep that cultural link going. Absolutely. I believe that uh, the embassy has organized uh, nationwide events yes. to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And how is it celebrated? It's celebrated uh, in different ways to which we invite the representatives of the South African government, the diplomatic community, representatives of Irish business and the Irish community. And uh, it'll be a two-hour um, uh, festival almost of taste and Irish food, mm -hmm. Irish cuisine, Irish music. We have a representative of the Irish regiment mm -hmm. playing as bagpipes. Well, I can actually uh, just picture the events coming up in my mind. Yeah. Sounds really awesome. Yeah, and it'll be a fantastic occasion. Mm -hmm. And we also have to represent the South African culture, the Mamalodi Choir wow. will sing the South African national anthem. So it's a fusion of Lovely. South African and Irish culture. This is what we're trying to achieve and show the links and the, and the similarities between Ireland and uh, South Africa. And similar events unfolding similar in other events, parts of the yeah, world as well? Absolutely, all over the world. I mean, everybody knows about the big St. Patrick's Day parades in the United States, in New York, and Boston, and Chicago, because of the Irish size of the Irish mm -hmm. community there. But it's the same in the United Kingdom, same in Canada, Australia, very big events, and now in South Africa. So happy St. Patrick's Day, and thank, thank you, you so much for making time to come here and to talk to us about, it, no, about this welcome. important it's event. I'm John Tarode and you're watching Joburg Today. Join in on the conversation and let us know what you'll be getting up to this St. Patrick's Day by simply using the hashtag St. Patrick's Day. That's all for today. For more on the city, do check out our playlist. From myself, Dumin Tlapo, it's goodbye.